a road trip to go to Cambridge to visit the origins of Afro of the Afrocomb yes. uh, exhibition. Um, whoop, whoop. It's at the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge. So we're on our way there now. I don't know if you can see there's like loads of greenery and like we're on the motorway or whatever. So that's probably the main reason why I'm not looking at you. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, before we get out of London, it's 32 degrees in London today, so we thought we'd uh, take a road trip out and um, see the sights, you know, and explore, explore. Um, but yeah, we're nearly there, probably about half an hour to go. Yep. Um, Sheila, how are you feeling? How's it been? How's it been today? I'm feeling great. Yeah. Let me just switch it. Let me try and switch it to me. Hey guys! I don't know if you can see me. Um, so yeah, Jodie told you everything. We're on our way to Cambridge. The sun is shining. We're excited. We're about to get our education on. Get it? <laughs> education? No? Okay. Um, education. So yeah, we're really excited to actually go and um, see the exhibition and um, just get educated on uh, on the Afro coat because it has a lot of significance. So we're really excited. So yeah, we're just going to keep you posted. Um, and yeah, you're going to be journeying along with us. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Hey guys, here the beat. We're in Cambridge now. Finally, we made it. It took us about two hours. Yeah, about two hours. Parking. Um, as you can see, I'm standing here by the poster. Um, so yeah, we're here and we're ready to explore the origins of the Afro comb. We're really excited. So stick with us and let's educate ourselves. <laughs> let's go.
actually Lisa, Miss Kelly over here. Um, just a quick question. How was your day today here and what are your thoughts? Loved it. It's a great exhibit. Everyone needs to come see it. It's just it's been amazing. I don't think there's been enough discussion about black hair and particularly the origins that we ourselves as black women, uh, women of color, have no idea. And I think you're just, right. your like, horizons are going to be expanded if you come see this exhibit. It's amazing. They have the oldest African comb in there. Yes. That yeah. Amazing. It's just all the hairstyles and the influence of the Western world on black hair. And you have to come check it out. Yes. And how long have you been natural for? I've been natural for three and a half years. Can you okay. I just stopped straightening. I had my hair straightened before, and now I've just gone natural. So we, you didn't relax it at all? Is Not it anymore. It's it's before it was relaxed yeah. for several years, but now I'm just braiding it. And how are you finding it? I love it. I mean, it's, it's an adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> Be prepared. Yeah. It's a lot of work, and I'm lazy. So, it's a <laughs> But now it, it takes you in all these different directions. I've learned so much about myself, yeah. about caring for myself, about making my own. I make my own lotions now. Amazing. My own hair care products. So yeah. it's definitely worth it. I've grown a lot because of it. So yeah. go natural and hair. Yes. Would you like to give any advice to anyone that's transitioning or anyone that's just started their natural hair journey? Stick to it and be realistic, I think. And I think you should just embrace it. There is no bad way to go natural. There is no such thing as bad hair. It's just embracing who you are and what you have and really kind of enjoying it along the way. It'll be much less painful if you do it that way. And it'll be a beautiful experience. Fantastic. So do it. Thank you so much, Kelly. The bongos are beating marimba. Hi guys, so we've officially been kicked out of the museum. <laughs> it's five o'clock on the dot and the museum is now closed. But we experienced the origins of the Afro comb exhibition. It was amazing. 6,000 years of the Afro comb. I don't know what else to say apart from it was inspiring. I learned so much and I'm sure Sheila did too. Yep. Um, <laughs> For me, there were certain things that really did stick out, such as the, the uh, Black Power Movement, the fact that there are 38 different types of hair. Um, we also met Kelly, as you guys saw. She has actually advised us that there is a part two to this exhibition, which is located at the MMA. So we're going to head over there now. We are running quite low on battery, so it might just be through photographs. Jody said it all. It was absolutely amazing. We thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. The experience was second to none. Um, we came here with no knowledge whatsoever about the Afro comb, other than us just using it for our hair, um, and learned that there is a lot of history attached to the Afro comb. And guys, we just want to say thank you for following us thank on you our so journey. Much. Uh, Jody, you're short. I'm I am tiny. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lived up, I lived up. Yeah, um, yeah. But we just want to say thank you so much for following us on our journey. We will keep you posted. Definitely. And uh, all right, guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Keep on hearing the beat. Hear the beat. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Beautiful end to the day. My poor Petra. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd 
an amazing day, guys. We're, we're gonna go back to London now. Just uh, pay, pay for this. That's how Cambridge treats us. <laughs>